Dear students, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use NAND gate to build some basic gates such as AND, OR, and NOT. We are going to learn the diagrams by which we will be able to represent those gates using only NAND gates. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can build a NOT gate using only NAND gate. So, in case of NAND gates, there are two inputs and in case of NOT gate, there is only one input. Since we are going to build a NOT gate using only NAND gate, so somehow we need to think uh, about how we can uh, merge those inputs together so that we can build a NOT gate using only NAND gate. So uh, let me show you the expected outcome. So if we use a, a NOT gate only, then uh, it would be something like this one. The input would be A and the output would be A prime. So A prime is my expected outcome. All right. So uh, here. Uh, this diagram actually shows how we can build a NOT gate using only NAND gate. So what we're going to do is we're going to verify this diagram using Boolean algebra and algebraic equations. So let's begin. So at the very beginning, okay, let me just uh, mark it down here. At the very beginning, uh, we can see that we're using only one input here. All right. Uh, this is because we are uh, going to build a NOT gate and in case of NOT gate uh, uh, there is only one input right so that's why we are using only one input but here we can see that there are two different inputs uh, sorry there are two inputs because this is a NAND gate all right so in case of NAND gate there are two inputs but in case of NOT gate there is only one input so what we are going to do is we're going to take one input that's all right but we're going to uh, place that one input into both of the input connection for uh, uh, sorry both of the input connection of the NAND gate so we are putting A as both of the input connection of the NAND gate so uh, let me just uh, write it down here what the equation becomes so we are putting A as both of the input connections of a NAND gate so the equation would be something like this one A dot A since both inputs are A and uh, there will be a prime at the top of that because we are using a NAND gate. So now we are going to be using uh, some Boolean theorems to uh, simplify this equation. So let me just uh, mark it down here so that you can understand which equation I am using. So I am going to be using this equation. All right, x dot x equal to x. And uh, let me just show you another thing. I am going to be assuming uh, a as x and this a as another x. All right. So now this equation looks like uh, this one, which I marked it down here. So uh, let me just uh, write it down. Let me just uh, simplify it. So since x dot x equal to x, so I can write it uh, as a dot a equals to a. All right. So let me just keep the brackets for now and put the prime there. And now I'm going to be just uh, removing the brackets and it becomes a prime. All right. A prime. So you can see here that uh, uh, I got a prime at the very end. Right. And this was my expected outcome a prime. So uh, and I got a prime as the final output. So this satisfies uh, my question actually. So uh, let me just show you another thing that if we used a simple NOT gate, then uh, uh, if the output is A uh, and the, sorry, if the input is A, then the output is A prime, right? If we use a simple NOT gate, but here we did not use any kind of NOT gate. We used only NAND gate, but still uh, we ended up with A prime, which actually symbolizes the output of a simple NOT gate. So this actually proves how we can use only NAND gate to uh, show the output for an OR gate. In this part, we're going to learn how we can build an OR gate using only NAND gate. So uh, let me just show you my expected outcome here. So if we use, uh, if we want to get uh, OR gate as output, and uh, if we have two input A and B, then there would be a plus sign at the middle because it's an OR gate. So this is the expected outcome, right? This is the expected outcome A plus B, all right? So uh, here, this diagram actually shows how we can build uh, OR gate using only NAND gate. Now we're going to be using some Boolean theorems and postulates to uh, prove whether this diagram is actually correct or not. So let me just uh, mark it down here at the very beginning. So here we can see at this part, we can see that uh, we are inputting only A to this NAND gate. All right, we are inputting only A to this NAND gate. So previously, uh, only a few minutes ago, only a few moments ago, I should say, uh, we just saw that if we input a single thing to a NAND gate, it outputs the inverse of that input, 
all right so if the input is a and we put that uh, that input to both of the input connection uh, for a NAND gate then the output would be a prime same goes for this one so uh, we um, give b as an input and since this is a NAND gate so it gives us b prime as the output so let me just change the color so uh, we get a prime and b prime as the outputs from this first part now let's check this part this is an uh, this is a very interesting part so here what we are doing is well uh, we are giving two inputs and these two inputs are actually the outputs from the previous part all right so we are giving a prime as input here and we're giving b prime as input here so let me just uh, write the equation for you so what we're getting here is that we're getting a prime and b prime as input and this is going to a uh, uh, to, to an end gate so uh, at the output line we are getting something like this one right a prime dot b prime okay a prime dot b prime and since this is a NAND gate we are using so that's why there will be a prime at the end all right so uh, now we are going to be simplifying this using boolean theorems so uh, what formula are we going to be using so let me just mark it down for you we're going to be using a very popular formula theorem 5 de morgan's law and we're going to be using yeah number b number b we're going to be using number b so x y whole prime equals to x prime plus y prime so uh, for your convenience i'm going to be uh, assuming a prime as x and b prime as y all right so now this equation looks like uh, this one right x y whole prime equals to x prime plus y prime so let me just simplify it down here so uh, if i assume a prime as x and b prime as y then it becomes something like a prime whole prime and plus b prime whole prime all right because we assumed that uh, a prime is x and b prime is y all right so i followed this equation and uh, wrote and simplified it like this all right so uh, let me just simplify it uh, even more so I'm gonna be just removing those brackets so the equation becomes a double prime plus b double prime so uh, since uh, double prime since there is double prime so we know that uh, if there if there is something like a double prime or b double prime then uh, we can just ignore those two primes and we can just write the uh, actual thing there uh, I mean if there is a double prime then we can just write it as a and since there is b double prime then we can just write it uh, as b all right so uh, we can see that here we are getting a plus b as as the final output so uh, a plus b is my final output and this is uh, actually what i expected uh, see so this is this was my expected outcome and i got a plus b at the end all right so let me just show you another thing that uh, if i uh, used a simple uh yeah if i use a simple or gate and the uh, inputs were a and b then the output would have been a plus b all right but here you can see that i did not use any kind of or gate okay i did not use any kind of or gate i used only nand gate but still i ended up uh with an equation like a plus b so this just uh, proves that we can use nand gate to build an or gate okay so in this part uh, we're going to learn how we can build uh, AND gate using NAND gate all right so if we uh, think about AND gate then our uh, expected outcome would be something like this all right a dot b since we are uh, going to build AND gate we need AND gate so this would be my expected outcome so uh, this is the uh, diagram actually uh, which shows how we can use NAND gate to build AND gate we're going to be using some boolean theorems and algebraic equations to prove uh, whether this diagram is actually correct or not so let's begin so uh, let me just uh, erase it down here and yeah so at the very first part here we can see that this is a NAND gate and we're giving two inputs here a and b all right a and b since a and b uh, are being given as inputs to this NAND gate so the output here would be a dot b whole prime all right so let me just write it down here uh, okay so maybe here a dot b 
whole prime so this would be my output okay this would be my output from this part all right so from the first NAND gate I'll get a dot b whole prime this is a NAND gate and we're giving a as b a and b as input so I'm getting a uh, and b whole prime as output okay so now let's move on to the next part so let me just change the color here so this is the next part this is the the green part uh, okay so this is the next part so at this part uh, this is very interesting actually I can see that uh, this is another NAND gate and what is the input for this NAND gate actually so I'm inputting this output to this uh, NAND gate again so the output was a dot b whole prime so if I uh, give a dot b whole prime as the uh, both of the inputs for this NAND gate then the equation looks like looks something like this one okay so a dot b whole prime since this is a NAND gate so okay a dot b whole prime and a dot b whole prime and since uh, and since I'm using NAND gate so there will be a prime at the top of that so this actually uh, symbolizes what we're doing here uh, we are giving two inputs both of the inputs are a dot b whole prime and this is a NAND gate so that's why the equation looks like this so uh, let me just uh, show you which equation I'm going to be using to simplify this uh, even more so uh, yeah I'm going to be using these equations a very popular theorem again De Morgan's theorem and I'm going to be using this uh, number b equation all right so based upon that uh, I'm gonna be assuming something I'm gonna be assuming a dot b whole prime as x and here this a dot b whole prime as y all right so now this equation uh, actually looks like this one the actual formula right so let me just follow this formula and simplify it so if I simplify that then the equation becomes something like this one a dot b whole prime so the a dot b whole prime is actually x and it should be x prime so I'm gonna be putting another prime here and after that a plus from the formula and then again this part a dot b whole prime this is my y and since it should be y prime so that's why I'm gonna be putting uh, another prime there so after that I'm gonna be uh, simplifying it even more so I'm just going to ignore the uh, outer brackets here so the equation looks something like this one so I remove the outer brackets and uh, yeah I, I remove those brackets this one and this one and this one and this one and the prime uh, this prime goes there and this prime goes there all right so uh, this is the equation I'm getting now so from this line I can actually remove those double primes right I can remove those double primes so what I can write is a dot b plus a dot b I just uh, remove those double primes so now the equation is something like this a dot b plus a dot b so here let me show you now I'm gonna be using this formula x plus x equal to x and I'm gonna be assuming this a dot b as the first x and this a dot b is the second x and I'm gonna write it down here I'm gonna simplify it based upon this formula so it becomes something like a dot b I'm just gonna ignore the brackets and it becomes a dot b so here you can see that uh, okay so let me just remove this one okay you can see that the output here I got uh, is actually a dot b and this actually uh, symbolizes the expected outcome right we expected a dot b as the outcome and we got a dot b let me just mention another thing if we used a simple AND gate then uh, uh, if the input is a and b then the output is definitely a dot b but here we did not use any kind of AND gate we used only NAND gate but still we ended up uh, with a dot b which actually symbolizes the equation for a uh, for an AND gate alright so this just proves how we can actually uh, use NAND gate to build an AND gate 
all right so what you need to learn from this lecture well so uh, you need to learn these diagrams actually because in future lectures or in future exercises you might be asked to draw uh, an OR gate using only NAND gate or you might be uh, asked to implement a boolean function uh, using only NAND gate. In those cases, you will need uh, the knowledge of these diagrams, how you can build a, an AND gate or an OR gate or a NOT gate using only NAND gate. So yeah, you need to learn these diagrams. So you need to uh, memorize them so that you uh, can be able to uh, understand how you can actually implement any kind of Boolean function using only NAND gate. So please learn it well. Please learn these diagrams so that uh, you can do well in further uh, in future exercises. So thank you everyone for this lecture, uh, see you in the next one.